guys, it's Tamara Bennett with Southern Adornments Decor, and tonight we're going to paint this new popular design that everybody's been begging me to paint. It is the pumpkin wheelbarrow design, and I have sold several of these lately. So, this is actually the etched blank that you can order in my shop. It comes with the lines already, like, etched out on it, and so it makes it just like paint by number. It's really easy. And so tonight I'm going to be painting this for you guys. If you don't want to purchase the um, wooden blank, you can always buy the paper template. I've shown that in other videos, so if you're not sure what I'm talking about, feel free to go back and watch one of my previous videos where I show how to take a paper template that you print off at home and you just lay it right on top of your door hanger with some graphite paper and it transfers the lines right to your door hanger and allows you to cut it out at home yourself for just $5 for the template. You know the drill. If you comment or say the word link, L-I-N-K, it will send all the links to all the things that you need if you want the paper template or the, um, the blank or even if you want to buy the painted version from me later. All you've got to do is say the word link down below and it will send that to you. It also will send you um, a link to go and sign up for the Painters Clubhouse waitlist. If you don't know what that is, that is my painting membership where I teach you how to paint two door hangers every single month and we build your confidence and help you find joy in painting. Um, September 24th is when that reopens, and so I'm so excited to welcome lots of new members on that day. Another thing you will get when you say the word link is um, it will ask you, if you haven't gotten it yet, at the very bottom of that message, it will say, "Would you are you interested or would you like to receive my free Door Hanger 101 ebook?" And all you have to say is yes. It will say, okay, great, what's your email? And all you have to do is reply with your email in the private message in Facebook. And it will send you the ebook right inside the messaging. So all you got to do is say link and it will send you all of that awesome goodness. I don't want to chit chat too long because my kids are already in bed and I haven't spent any time with my husband because he's been outside mowing the yard. So I'm going to try to get this painted in a jiffy for you all so that I can go spend some quality time with him watching Bachelor in Paradise. <laughs> oh, also, if you're new here, if you guys will sprinkle the love across Facebook by hitting that special little bot button that Facebook provides at the bottom of the video. Um, I always like to surprise one person who does that with um, a free blank of what I'm painting. So someone who sprinkles the love across Facebook will get one of these pumpkin wheelbarrow blanks. All you got to do is hit that button and then comment and let me know that that's what you did. All right, first I'm giving this a good coat of white paint. All of my paints are DecoArt Americana paint. Um, it is the matte acrylics. Word link down below. Um, it will also give you a link to my website to my frequently asked questions page. Now, the reason that's important is because I get so many messages from you guys saying, hey, what kind of paint do you use? And hey, what kind of wood do I need to get if I wanna cut one of these out? And so all of those kind of questions are answered on that frequently asked questions page. So all you have to do is say the word link and it will send all of that right to your Facebook Messenger so that you can go and check it out later after the video is over. But all you gotta do is give this a nice good coat of white paint. It may take, well I was gonna say, it normally might take more than one coat, but since we're gonna do some buffalo plaid on top of this, I'm not too worried about you know making sure it's like the perfect coat of white you guys know that um, if you've been watching me for any amount of time whatsoever, perfect is boring and we don't try to get things perfect around here. We just try to enjoy the process of painting and making it cute. So if you have a hard time getting a smooth background, dip your brush in a little bit of water and after you've got it covered, make long strokes back and forth like this and it will smooth out all those little imperfections and brush strokes. If you get too much water, just blot it off on a paper towel. The cool thing about these etched blanks is even if I go like accidentally over the lines, you can still see the etched lines even under the paint. Isn't that neat? You guys are awesome. Um, I actually had a viral video twice in the last month. The first one was a time lapse of me painting um, the sunflower, which you can see when I'm sitting down here behind me. And then this, that one got just over a million views. And then the second one was... Um, a Christmas tree door hanger that I painted and it's now up to 8 million views. Is that not crazy? How many of you guys have seen the video? That's probably why you're here. <laughs> so if you are, welcome. Um, I paint every week on Tuesdays 
here on my Facebook Live, and um, I just chit chat with you guys and answer questions about door hangers if I can. Sometimes it's hard to read comments and answer questions while I'm painting, but I do my best. And then after the video is over, I always go back like either tonight or the next day and read through the comments and answer any of them that I missed. So y'all feel free to comment even if I'm not able to respond right now. And if you will, go ahead if you're just now hopping on and spread the love across Facebook. Somebody will be getting one of these um, pumpkin etched door hangers, the pumpkin wheelbarrow door hangers. Um, somebody will be getting some happy mail. We'll draw a name in a couple of days. I usually like to give it a couple of days because not everybody's able to watch it live. So just make sure that you hit the button and then you comment that that's what you did. This is antique, or no, it's not antique white. It's buttermilk, light buttermilk by Deco Art. And so I'm painting this big pumpkin here in the middle, this light buttermilk color. And now I'm going back with a little bit of a wet brush and smoothing out my brush strokes. Make sure it's a nice smooth application. I may have to go back and add just a, a little bit more of a second coat later. We'll let that dry first though. Second coats are much better after it's dried. Are the lines already on it when you buy it? Yes, Katie. All, um, a lot of the blanks that I now offer can come with etched lines in them. So if you're wanting to get one of these painted, you can um, say the word link. It will give you a link to the template, the blank, the painted version, whatever it is your heart desires. And you can go and purchase it from my shop. You can also check out my Frequently Asked Questions page. You can go and get on the Painters Clubhouse wait list because it reopens September 24th. That is my membership group where I teach you how to paint two door hangers every single month. And we work on building your confidence and helping you find joy in painting. And so many of the women in my group have actually started their own businesses now. They love it so much. I miss you too, Heidi. I got to spend some time with Heidi in Canada. I almost said last week. It was actually two, almost two weeks ago. So this is, this color here is called Canyon Orange. I really like it. It covers a lot better than most oranges do. So see how nicely that covers? And even after I have painted, let me see if you guys can see. You can still see the etched lines in the pumpkin, even after I've painted, which is good because once you go back later to do all of your details, you'll be able to follow those lines and you won't have to worry about trying to freehand it. Um, will your monthly club share how to find a source for laser cutting? Um, yes. Yes, we do. <laughs> um, thank you for sprinkling the love, Lisa Cartwright. You need to put a door hanger on the adorable chicken coop. You're right, Carolyn, I do. I need to. If you guys haven't been following me on Instagram, you need to go find me over there because um, we, uh, I have been um, sharing video and footage of my new chicken coop. All right, I'm gonna take this same orange color and I want it to be like just a little bit of a different shade, a little brighter. So I'm adding some yellow to it. Can you see that? And I'm just going to mix it to get a different shade of orange because I don't want my pumpkins to be exactly alike. I want them to be just a little different. One that's a little darker and one that's a little lighter. That looks good. I appreciate you guys so much. If you want any of the links to any of the things that I've talked about, just say the word link. My messenger bot will send an automated message to your Facebook message box with links to all of my favorite things, including... It will ask you if you want a copy of my free door hanger ebook. All you got to do is reply to that message with yes, and then it'll ask you for your email. Super simple. I'm so proud of myself for finally figuring out the technology of um, the chat bot and actually like learning new things with it. It's exciting. Okay, so can you see the difference in the color of the pumpkins? This one is Canyon Orange by Deco Art Americana Paints, and this one is Canyon Orange mixed with just a little bit of primary yellow. So it made two shades of pumpkins. If you want to know what kind of jigsaw I use, I have it linked over in my Amazon affiliate shop. That is also um, in the message that gets sent out if you comment with the word link. It will send you that information. All right, let me get some brown. I've got like a little lazy Susan over here. I wish I could show you guys. And I've got all of my paints on it. And so if I need something, I just swivel it around and grab what I need. 
Erica's in my Painters Clubhouse. We have the most fun. Um, one of my favorite things about Painters Clubhouse is twice a month we have what we call a round table paint night and we all hop on a Zoom call together and it's kind of like a girls night and we all paint together. We share painting tips. We talk about life and paint parties and door hanger business and whatever it is that's on our minds. Sometimes it's just talking about our husbands and our kids. <laughs> it's lots of fun. Um, but I love like getting to see the ladies in there and talking to them face to face. It just kind of like, you know, because like right now you guys are watching me, but I can't see you. And so when we get on a Zoom call together inside the Painters Clubhouse group, it just makes this more personal. And I get to know all of my members face, <clears throat> face to face, excuse me. And Miss Erica is one that always hops on with us. Even if she's not painting, she's always just sitting there chatting with us. And it's really nice catching up when we do that. Okay, I need a flat tip, a smaller flat tip brush. And then I'm going to use this color here. It's called Hauser Medium Green. We're going to do the leaves that color. Round table nights are the best, aren't they, Erica? It's like my favorite time of the month. I love it. You're cutting your wheelbarrow and pumpkins in the morning. Yay, Judy. I want to see a picture when you get done. Um, yes, Renee, you need to join us on the next round table night. We haven't been having very many people in there lately. I think life has just got people busy. And so it's been a small crowd the last couple of times. But, you know, it makes it a little bit more intimate that way. Like we can get to know each other even better. But we would love for you to join us next time. And I'm just painting the little leaves this color. And then after we get done with this part, we're going to go back and do buffalo plaid on the wheel, wheel barrel. I don't know why I'm having such a hard time saying that word. There we go. This is about the quietest it's been in my house all afternoon. Since the kids got off the bus, it's been nuts. Uh, Beverly loves round table paint night. Awesome. Shana says apple barrel matte. Yes, that's the kind of paint I always used to get at Walmart, but now I get deco art Americana. There's nothing wrong with apple barrel. I just like deco art better. Um, yes, somebody said they're on the painters clubhouse wait list. Awesome. Did you make your paint backdrop? Yes, I did. It's made out of old pallet wood. Um, my husband actually took like a sawzall and cut up a bunch of pallets and then we put a piece of half inch plywood we like screwed it into the wall and um, then we took a is it called a brad nailer or like a nail gun I don't know the tool names but we took it and we um, tacked each one of those little boards up there and then I painted them and I'm not really done yet if you can tell like there's some down here that haven't been finished so it kind of is been has been neglected I made it and I painted it all and then I made it bigger and I haven't had a chance yet to go back and finish painting all the boards. I've been too busy painting door hangers. Okay, got my little legs to the wheelbarrow painted and then I'm going to paint this little inside circle. This is um, Granite Gray by Apple Barrel Paints. I appreciate that. Okay, now we've got some black. We're just gonna go ahead and paint in the wheels. And then I will show you like the easiest buffalo plaid painting technique ever. And I promise it does not involve painter's tape. Because I hate painter's tape. <laughs> there is a time and a place for painter's tape, but I, if I can avoid using it, I do. It gives me anxiety because it doesn't always work out the way I had planned. If you love painter's tape, it's okay. I'm, I won't hold it against you. It's not for everyone. And that means me. All right, got my little wheel painted. Okay, this is almost completely dry. So I'm gonna take my um, handy dandy little ruler here and a pencil. And we're just gonna draw lines. I'm gonna actually use the width of the ruler as a guide here. And I'm just going to draw lines going across. My ruler's not quite long enough, so I'll have to slide it down and remark it. And then do it again. Whoops. I'm 
I'm probably about to make a mess, but I'm too impatient to wait for this to dry. So if we do, we do. We'll just clean it up. No big deal. I think if I just wipe off the back of it as I go, it'll be all right. Okay, and then new lines going this way. And I'm just using the width of my ruler. I'm not even measuring. I'm just making um, checks. Let's rotate it while we do this. I did this technique last fall on a pumpkin on Facebook Live, and it has been one of my most popular videos to date. So I thought it was time that we teach the technique again on a different shape. Buffalo plaid is so hot. It was very popular last year, and it looks like it's going to be just as popular again this year. Sorry, my phone is just a dinging. When you get the message from the bot, just type ebook and then reply back with your email. Thank you, Amber. You're so helpful. I appreciate that. Okay. Next thing we need to do is get a flat tip brush. I'm just going to use this one that I've been using. And we're going to get some gray paint. I'm going to use this same paint that I used on the feet of the wheelbarrow. And um, we're just going to paint inside these lines. So I'm going to do this one. Going all the way across here. And don't worry if you get over that line a little bit. Nobody's going to know. Just kind of try to follow it as best you can. If you have a hard time doing a straight line, I recommend you turn it like this and pull the brush towards your body. You'll have a lot more control over how straight your line is. So I'm just lining where my pencil is and then I'm filling in the rest. Super easy buffalo plaid technique. Thank you for sharing. And Oops, I said the, the word you're not supposed to say. Thank you for sprinkling the love across Facebook. Somebody's going to be winning one of these little blanks etched. So, all right, we did that line. I need some more paint. And then we're going to do the next one down. So skip one and go down to the next one. I'm going to try to do this a little bit quicker. Go around the wheel. Again, this does not have to be perfect. The whole point is that you're supposed to enjoy what you're doing. Don't stress out about it. It's no fun if you're stressing out about it. And sometimes if you're worried about, you know, little imperfections, it's probably because you're looking at it this close up. Sometimes you need to have somebody else hold it from a distance so that you can see um, what it looks like. All right. For the next layer, I'm going to take just like a drop of black and mix in with my gray to get just a, a little bit darker gray. Not much at all, just a little darker. And then we're going to start and go on the next section going down. So I'm just skipping every other line and painting downward. And then we're going to go back in a moment and thicken up where they overlap with a slightly darker color. So hang in there. It's going to look really cool. As you can see, I'm really not trying super hard to stay inside the lines but it doesn't matter. It's going to be cute regardless of whether it's perfect. And this is way more fun than using painter's tape. Am I the only one? Does anybody else hate painter's tape? I appreciate that. Okay, so this is what we got so far. We got light gray. We've got just a slightly darker shade of gray going this way. And now we're going to take, I'm not going to go for just black, black, like really black. So I'm just going to take some of this black and mix with the gray so that I get a like charcoal color. 
It's almost black, but it's not like harsh. It's not. I just flipped some all over the door hanger. Hold on. <laughs> Did y'all see that? I almost knocked the entire egg carton off in the floor. Okay. Handy dandy baby wipes. It's okay. Those spots don't matter because I'm going to paint over that anyway. But Okay, so I've got this charcoal gray color. Here's where the magic happened. Anywhere where the two grays overlap, you're going to paint those in with the darker color. This is like a faux buffalo plaid look. Super easy. If this is too hard for you to do with a flat tip brush, switch to like a round tip and kind of outline the square first and then fill it in. However you need to do it. But I kind of think it's easier with this flat tip brush for me just because I can get right up to the edge, make a little box, and then fill in the box. Have any of you guys used this technique before? You've got so many cookie ideas. You know what, Krista, the funny thing is, is a lot of my door hanger ideas come from cookies. I will like search cookie designs on Pinterest and come up with inspiration for door hangers. So it kind of goes both ways. I would love to see whatever cookies you make using my door hanger designs because um, I think it's really cool that we kind of trade ideas. I use cookies for inspiration. You guys use door hangers for inspiration. And it just keeps cycling around. If you're joining us late, please spread the love on Facebook and somebody will be winning one of these little um, etched pumpkin wheelbarrow door hangers. If you want to get the template, they're just $5 and the blank is uh, $24 for this size if you want it etched. So all you got to do is say the word link. It will send you a link to go find these. If you want to just buy one painted, you can buy one painted from me. I believe they're $45, $55 if you want them personalized. Um, and then we also have, it'll also send you like a link to like my most frequently asked questions. Um, it'll give you a link to get on the Painters Clubhouse wait list. That's my monthly membership group that reopens on September 24th. Okay, this is looking so cute. Okay, let me kind of pick it up and show you guys so far. How cute is that? All right, after that dries, I might go back and kind of like clean it up just a little bit. Um, I've got to clean up a couple of little places where I splattered it with paint. So it's okay though. All right, next we're going to add polka dots up here in this pumpkin. Let me get, let's see, what color do I want? This is Khaki by Apple Barrel. This will probably do. I kind of wanted like a little bit of a tan khaki color, although this is empty. That's not going to do me any good. Trash can's over there somewhere. Um, I probably got another one down here. Hold up. I have a bunch of my older paints down here. And you know, I saw a lot of you guys commenting on one of my videos saying that you were going to get your husband or somebody to cut it out. Ladies, y'all can do this. I promise. <laughs> how many of you guys know how to use a jigsaw? Say me in the comments. Jigsawing is not as scary as you guys are making it out to be. It is actually... Um, Kind of empowering if I'm if I'm being honest like it makes you feel like you can do just about anything let me mute my phone because it's driving me crazy there we go um it's empowering it kind of make after you cut one out you're kind of like look at me look what I can do I just turned this ugly piece of plywood into something really cool and then after you paint that something really cool you feel like super empowered what else are we going to do on this I was looking to see if anything needed a second coat. I believe the leaves and the stems need another quick coat. I know a lot of you guys who watch me um, are like, how in the world are you painting these with only one coat? I try to put the first coat on relatively 
not thick, but just a really nice coat so that I don't have to do second coats, but sometimes on some colors you just do. And it's okay. It's, you know, it doesn't take two seconds to give it a second coat. You have a scroll saw, but these might be too big for it. Pam, if you do, um, I had a lady who told me the other day that she had been using a scroll saw to cut everything for like a long time. And she said she finally like got out a jigsaw and started cutting some of these. And she was astonished at like how much faster it was to jig and easier to like jigsaw cut some of these. Now, some of the ones that are like really intricate, I can see why you need a scroll saw. But, um, you know, for like a design like this, you could have this cut out in like five minutes or less. And it's going to save you a lot of money because it, it gets expensive buying the blanks. But if you can teach yourself how to cut them, it's going to save you a ton of money. All right, I need a brush. Let's see. And some more white paint. We're going to add some accents to this. Black and white accents make everything come to life. So we're going to do like a little squiggle on the tire. Do, um, actually this is too big for what else I want to do. Let me get a smaller brush. Let's try this one. Do little wiggles on the edges of the pumpkin. The paint is still just a little bit wet on the stem and stuff, but I'm trying to like get plenty of white paint on my brush so so it's not nearly as noticeable. Oh, sorry, I got off camera. Okay, so adding those little touches just kind of makes it look like the light is bouncing off of your door hanger. Um, let's see, Judy says, I cut out door hangers and yard art items. Some of the yard art are over six foot tall. Wow, that is a lot of work, but I commend you for that. I forgot, I was gonna put cute little highlights on these little polka dots. There we go. Isn't that much better? Now we get to go back and um, add the accent lines. Somebody said, I have my dad cut them out. I can't seem to cut Oh, they bounce around. Yes. Um, and that could just be the kind of blade that you're using. I recommend getting a jigsaw blade that has at least 20 TPI tips per inch. That will make it so much easier and it will cut smoother. It won't bounce around nearly as bad. All right. Let's just, let's do, if y'all can't tell, I'm kind of accident prone. Some little lines down here. legs. We'll do just a little bit outlining this shape. We'll go along the face here. So this is kind of where you can like follow some of your etching lines if you want. If, it, if you're not sure where to put lines. So now I'm just following those little etched lines. You can even kind of outline things, especially if you feel like if you feel like your door hanger is a little bit of a hot mess. <laughs> Adding some of these outlines will save you. Like it makes it feel like everything is now painted inside the lines. Get a little wobbly down through there. Just keep plenty of paint on your brush. And think about it like you're pulling your brush the direction you want it to go. Okay, I think that's about got it. 
Let me show you what it looks like from here. Little pumpkin wheelbarrow. And you could put like hello fall or welcome or happy fall y'all or something like that on the actual wheelbarrow. And it would be so super cute. So this was a really popular one this past week. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching me paint it. Um, on Friday, we come out with five, every Friday we come out with five new designs. And on Instagram, in the Instagram stories, I always ask you guys to vote on which two designs out of the five you want me to paint live because next Tuesday I'll be back painting again live here on Facebook. And on Fridays, I do Friday Fab Five right here on my page where I teach you how, or I don't teach you, <laughs> I talk about five of my favorite things that I'm loving this week. Sometimes they are jewelry or clothing. Sometimes it's like my favorite craft supplies, anything like that. So I would love it if you can come and join me if I just got paint on my neck. <laughs> um, if you enjoyed this and you want to join Painters Clubhouse, please go get on the wait list at paintersclubhouse.com. It opens up September 24th and I would love to have you join us. It is a fun time where we learn how to paint two door hangers every single month and we grow our confidence and we find joy in painting with each other. All right, I hope you guys have a fantastic night and I hope you had a great Labor Day weekend. I will see you guys again next time. Bye.